Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you've been doing great. I just want to make sure you guys listen to me. Will you listen to me? If you listen to me, please uh raise your hand or, or send a message. You too, JC. Thank you so much for confirming. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for joining in and thank you so much for being on time. We're going to start our session today. And uh, this is our third week, week number three. Okay. I have a special request here. Is the Dalila, Nicolasa, Genesis, Valeria, Melissa, Julieta, uh, Oscar, Alexander, Jensi, Marlene. Are these people connected? If you are, please uh, raise your hand or send me a message on the meeting chat. Dalila, I don't see Dalila connected. Okay, let's see. Genesis, is Genesis connected? Not either. Melissa, Julieta. All right. Well, Oscar and Jensi, I don't think they're here. Well, these people, these students, these uh, participants need to complete the platform. Still pending, okay? In case you know, then in case you wanna, in case you know who they are, please let them know that we are like um trying to contact them so they can complete the platform. Okay, so thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for joining in. We're going to start our session today. And today we have our uh, section number four. Okay, and the topic for this uh, section is going to be, let's see. I don't know, if, I think you already saw it because you already completed, most of you already completed the lesson. And the topic is the following. Whose genes are this? That is today's topic. Okay, would you mind saying it with me, please? So this is the topic. Let's do it together. Let's say it together. Whose genes are these? Can you say it with me? Can you repeat it, please? Whose genes are these? Whose you... genes this? Thank you so much. Yes, these? whose genes are these? That is the section number four. All right, whose, like this is possessive, Whose genes are these? We're really looking for the owner. We're looking for the person, you know, right? Who the item belongs to. All right. So we have the lesson objective. And this, I'm going to read it once. And then I'm going to need somebody to read it after me. But as of now, only listen to what I'm going to be saying. Listen to me, please. In this class, you will learn clothes, vocabulary, right? Particularly clothes which you wear. This is key, wear, okay? This is very important to understand, wear, okay? When you go to work, you can use a tie. If you go to school, if you go to university, if you are at home, there are different types of clothing items you can put on, right? To feel relaxed, to be more, what, um, to have a formal dress code or so your image is nicer. So that depends on where you are, the place where you guys are. Okay, but then we have here that it says, wear, for work, and for leisure. What is leisure? Leisure is when you have some relaxing time. Maybe at home, you are just chilling, listening to music, watching TV, on your couch, that's leisure time. Just chilling, you know, relaxing, leisure, right? Okay, so let's start with some vocabulary, okay? Or maybe do I have any volunteer to read this lesson objective? Anybody who wants to read it, please? Anybody? This one? Just go ahead and read it. I need somebody to read it. Any volunteer? Yes, Israel, thank you, go ahead. In this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. Thank you so much, Israel, I like it. Good, good pronunciation, I love it. Let's move on, let's move on. All right, so let's see. We have our next 
uh, video. Maybe you you saw this already. I know, right? You might have seen it, but still, we need, need to practice it. Okay, let's see. In this video, we have some vocabulary. My recommendation is that you write it down in case you know. Hey, you say no, I I already know this, but then still, you no, know, you can write it down and try to look for some other vocabulary. Okay, so. Let me share it with you guys and you can listen and you can also repeat it at the same time, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna play it once again. I'm gonna be really focused on this class. I'm gonna be focused on the platform, guys, so we can practice one more time. And I know you already finished the platform, but it's still, you need, to, you need to have some more practice. The more you practice, the better it's going to be, okay? So listen up, please, here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right-hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes it's for leisure. Hat, sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that which right let's do something let's do something okay. maybe you already know some of these words right maybe you knew how to say shirt you already knew how to say uh, pants but then you might not know how to say time in Spanish so my request for you is to write down the words you don't know you're not familiar with okay so I'm going to give you one minute for you to write down those words you find here that are new. If by any chance you don't know any of them, just take some time, you know, write it on your note and make sure you practice it. Okay. I'll give you two minutes. Do you have questions about any specific word here? I think maybe only about pronunciation because the Spanish form is just on, on my right hand, but I don't know if you see either on the right hand or, or your left hand. Any specific? Yes, JC. Sí, yo quisiera que pronunciara la palabra maestro o profesor y la palabra camisa, porque oh. siento que son un poco similares y se dicen un poco lento. Okay, yeah, they're similar, JC, but not equal. What's the difference? And the difference is this this sound. Let me let me just write it down here. If I say I'm going to give you two examples. If I say this is sh 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 shirt, shirt. If I say this chair, sh this is chair and shirt. Now let me give you an example. Watch. Now, now this one. Wash. So, why am I doing this? Because I want you to pay attention to the, the following sound. So, shirt, chair, watch, wash. So, this sound is different. So when I say teacher, 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 it's not t-shirt, 
ch, the sound I'm making is different. Ch and ch, like ch and ch, that's different. So teacher and t-shirt, shirt, 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 t-shirt and teacher. So it's like uh, the sound I'm making is the ch, not ch. That's different. And plus, just for you to know this, plus the sound that is different, I know you will understand the context will help you in case it's kind of hard for you to understand, let's say, uh, the difference between ch and ch. Then you might say, what is the word he or she is saying? But then the context, context will give you an idea. For example, you see, if I say, uh, the teacher at school, it's nice. So you might say the teacher, right? He's not saying that teacher because he's talking about school. So your logic says, oh, then it's not a teacher, it's a teacher. Then the context would also help you to understand, you know, the meaning sometimes. But once again, that's the difference, okay? Uh, so you can say with me, JC, listen, teacher and teacher. I'm sorry. All right. So let's see. Any anybody else? Any any other question? Any other pronunciation that you might have? Este sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. En el caso de hat, sería también como gorro y sombrero. Sería para lo mismo. That's a good question. Yeah, uh, hat is the same. Like it's the same in this case, hat. Because uh, if you say if you take a look at this one that we it's not a it, it is not a regular hat that we know, but that's how you say it, right? That's how you say it. This hat, the one that presented here. But then it's the same thing. Hat it applies for this design or that will uh, or a different design. So basically the design changes, but at the end it's the same, the same name for that specific item, the same name. You know, in this context, yes, similar things. Hot, like the one from Pisa, Pisa hot. But there's a, there's a difference between, you know, but still, so hot. And what others, guys? What others do you have here that you didn't know, now you know? Let's do something because the purpose is to practice, right? The purpose is to practice using the vocabulary in sentences. That's what is expected from you. So let's finish the video. We're going to have some sentences. They're going to give us some examples about how to use it in, in sentences. Here we go. Just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. Exactly. So let's do that. Stop doing this, and then let's not talk about the, the video. Let's talk about ourselves, okay? Let's talk about work and leisure, okay? So I'm going to do something really easy here. I'm going to divide my screen, my whiteboard, into two parts. You see? It's not, maybe not the best line, but still. I'm going to say um, work right here. Let me... On. Say right work and leisure. Leisure. All right. So I want everybody in this classroom. We are 24 students. You are 24 students. I want you to start brainstorming right on what are those clothing items you guys wear either at work or when you have leisure time. What comes to your mind? Let's follow the example. I know you guys are familiar with the, with the sentence. So if I say, in my case, I wear, like this is the verb that I was telling you about. And then you mentioned the clothing items, right? I wear blah, blah, blah. I wear uh, blue jeans. I wear uh, sweaters. I wear a... Um, I don't know, blazer or our jacket for work. So what about for le for leisure? Maybe when you are at home, I wear 
And then you mentioned what you wear once you have relaxing time, that time off. And we can make this a little bit more of a... Uh, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, work and issue are synonyms. I'm sorry? No, they're not synonyms. Work? No. No, work, uh, Israel, work is when you are at the office, when you are in your company, when you are at a factory, that is work. When you're working, you are like making a salary, like earning a salary. But leisure is just relaxing time. For example, when you don't work, you are at home. You are just chilling, relaxing. That's leisure time. That's free time. There's not much to do. No, no activities to do. Just, you know, chilling, relaxing, that's leisure. Like, for example, you don't go to, I mean, you don't go to your office uh, wearing sandals. Uh -huh. Sorry, uh, uh, can I say uh, I wear shirt? Shirt, yes. Shirt. Sh uh, short or, or shirt? Shirt, shirt. Shirt, short, uh, shirt, shirt, oh, yeah, shirt. yeah, shirt, shirt. Oh, okay. So, uh, but for pleasure, for leisure, yeah, uh, I wear shirt. Okay, so <laughs> you're saying you're saying shirt or short? Uh, shirt. Uh, oh, camisa. shirt. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Okay, good. <laughs> this one, right? I wear, I wear shirt uh for and then you say uh leisure or you, you can say i wear shirts just to complete the idea you can say when um, i am at home you see this is just uh -huh. Uh -huh. i wear shirts relaxing but then just to continue with the idea israel i can say for example something like this i wear um take a look at this one I wear formal, you know, formal, uh, what? Or short, like you can say formal pants, but I'm sure I'm gonna say formal shoes, you know, just to give you an idea. Not formal shoes. Formal shoes when, uh, or for work, like just like this, you know? Because mm -hmm. you don't use sneakers, you don't use like sport shoes when you go to the office, it's not possible, right? You have to be dressing mm -hmm. properly, right? Or you can say, I, this, I wear, if you go, if you work as a lawyer, you will go to the office, I wear a tie, you know, uh, for work. That's another idea. I, mm -hmm. Because uh, if you are like working in a company that requires wearing ties, you have to wear it because it's work. I also, you can say, I wear what? Long sleeve, long sleeve shirt. It's different, mm -hmm. right? Long sleeve shirt. shirt. Like, like this, long sleeve shirt. Because it's not like, uh, it's formal, right? The, the scenario, the situation is formal. It's not something is not going to the beach you know what i mean it's not going to the park it's for more it's work but about, what about for leisure what are some of the things that we can use all right i'm gonna stop talking i want you to please share the examples follow the same the same structure i wear and then tell me what you wear what you wear for work and what you wear for leisure time i'll give you three minutes to start thinking okay what am i going to say now i'm gonna say work and like me, what do I do for work? What do I do for, for leisure? Okay? So just go ahead, please. In my work, I wear high heels. Okay, Karen, nice. That's a good one. You see, Karen, thank you for your participation. Uh, I wear high heels. You just spell the high heels, you're missing one letter there, but it's just make that correction. You're missing the G. Uh, but in my leisure day, I wear sneakers. Yes. I'm going to copy the Karen's ideas and I'm going to use them here. Karen Hernandez just said on the, on the chat, following, I'm going to put it right here. 
I wear high heels, high, 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 high heels, heels, high heels, and then, and I wear sneakers. No la use, I wear sneakers. Yeah, why not? Chilling, right? Yes, chilling. And then this is the second one. I'm gonna use your ideas. The point is this, let's see. Reina Arqueta, I wear skirt at home and wear suit, at, suit in my world. You see, nah, that's what I'm talking about. And I would love to hear how you say it, guys. I would love to, to hear that, okay? Let's see, I have, I wear suit in my work. I'm not gonna write them down on my screen because it's too much. Who wants to open, you know, your microphone, I think it's a good idea for you to read it as well. I wear suit in my work, says Israel. Yes, I know, like very so formal, right? In suit and in my work, I wear dress and high heels. Heels, it's a mistake, little mistake, correct? But in my leisure, I wear jeans and t-shirt and sneakers. I like it. I wear, don't, don't shout at me, Manuel, come on, don't use capital letters. I wear short in my house, okay? Yes, I do too. I wear for my, I wear for my work clothes and jeans also. I wear, wear high heels, I know, right? He's all that might be really uh, hard. I wear black shoes for work. I, I wear a cap when I, when it's sunny, yeah. <laughs> when it's really sunny, right? You wear cups so you don't get burned, right? You don't get tanned. And I wear pajamas in my house, yes. I wear a shirt at home, I wear shorts in my Awesome, nice. Okay, now open your microphone and read your, read your sentences. I want to see how you pronounce it now. I already read the sentence that you wrote, but I still I want to hear how you pronounce it. And if any volunteer, just go ahead and, and read your sentence, please. Just one, go ahead and read your sentence. One volunteer. All right, no problem. Let me, let me continue. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to play once again this video. So you can listen to the pronunciation one more time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right-hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Shoes. Blouse. Scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, Shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just... All right, now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary. Sure. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts 
at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Right, so basically that's the idea, right? To create sentences using the vocabulary. Okay, so now we're going to work on the next um, topic. Before we move on, questions that you might have in regards of the vocabulary pronunciation, I will check it in my work. I know, Sarah, good. I wear heels in the office, yes. Right, to look formal, heels are the best choice, right, to dress formal. Nice, okay. So let's see, I'm gonna need some vol one volunteer to read the class objective. Let's see who wants to read it. One volunteer, just read the objective, please, in English. This one. Anybody? Who can help? Hello. Teacher. Thank you so much, Carlos, go ahead. In this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in daily life. Nice, Carlos. I like it. Awesome. So let's see. I know you already completed this part. Let's try to bring you know the class into context. Let's see. Do you know the colors, daily life colors? Yes. Who can open um, the microphone, your microphone, and tell me at least, uh, let's say five colors, five colors that you know, just five. Easy question. How do you say verde in English? Green. Green. How do you say verde oscuro? Dark green. Dark green. Good. How do you say rosado in English? Pink. Pink. Awesome. How do you say azul? Blue. blue. How do you say celeste? Light blue. Light blue. Good. How do you say cafe? Brown. 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 Okay. How do you say morado? Purple. 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 Nice. How do you say plateado? Silver. 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 Good. How do you say gris? Gray. 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 How do you say dorado? Golden. 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 Right. I Golden. see you have studied. You know us good. Maybe you know all of them. I'm just trying to test. Now, mention, please give me two. Uh, or two or let's say one fruit that is orange. Color. Pineapple. <laughs> is it? Tangerine. Tangerine is a good one. Yes. Actually, uh, orange is uh, also a color, right? It's also a color, but it's also a fruit, right? Tangerine is a, is a good one. Tell me a fruit that has uh, two colors, let's say red and green. Yeah. Watermelon. Watermelon, I like watermelon. Yes, you guys are on fire. Okay, awesome. What color is the sky? Blue. Blue, yeah, blue or light blue, right? Yeah, how about the ocean? Blue. Blue, yeah, blue. What about your heart? Black, no, I was asking, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, let's see. Um. Nice. What what color is our blood? You know, our blood. What, what color is it? Who knows? Who understands this question? Red. Red. Very good, JC. Awesome. It is red. What color is the sun? Yellow. 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 Yes. Awesome. Okay. I think you have the idea. You know. You know that the purpose is to relate the colors with our our environment, right? Our context. Let's uh, listen to the colors, and then we're gonna make some questions. Okay. Because that's the topic. That's the idea for you to practice. The purpose is to learn the colors and you know use it in daily life. So here we go. Just a second, please. Let me play it.
precision. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a Before we move on on the next conversation, tell me what's your favorite color? And would you mind saying it to me? Why? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Why is red your favorite color, JC? Because I like um uh, watermelons. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, actually watermelon is my favorite color. You know. Good. Okay, let's see. Abigail Montoya, what's your favorite color? I'm sorry. What did you say? What's your favorite color, Abigail? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. Yellow, okay, nice. Let's see, Carlos, what about you, Carlos? My favorite color is green. Green, okay. Let's see, uh -huh. Israel, what is your best friend's favorite color? My best friend? Yeah, <laughs> he's your best friend. <laughs> uh... It's um blue. Blue? Okay. Blue. It's so it's a boy. <laughs> it's, it's my it's wife. It's oh my wife. The, ah, uh -huh. I uh -huh. thought because it's blue, I think it's a boy. Okay, I see. Uh -huh. Nice. But uh, that's good, you know. Uh, maybe she's uh -huh. listening to you. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Let's see. Uh -huh. Favorite colors, class. Favorite colors, we all have favorite colors. But that will depend, maybe. That will depend. Um, in my case, I prefer dark colors. When I say dark, I mean uh, black, dark blue, gray. These are the colors I like most. Because I, I believe that dark colors are formal, you know. That's why I, I like them. Claudia, what about you, Claudia? I mean, yeah, what is your favorite color? My favorite colors is purple and black. Purple and black, yeah, nice. Purple is a good one. What about you, Sara? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is the green. Green color, yeah, it's 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 a good one too. Alessandro, what about you, Alessandro? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Nice blue. I wanted to say just in, before we before we move on, I wanted to mention something really quick. When we are talking about the pronunciation of favorites, uh, I hear favorite. You see, favorite to see love. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Some people say favorite, but I believe I strongly believe that is favorite. Just to see love. Like favorite, 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 favorite color. What's your favorite, favorite, okay? Just for you to know this. In case you wanna say favorite, you're saying two, three syllables, it's okay, but the fastest one is favorite, two syllables. All right, let's listen to the conversation. Let's move on. Okay, 
because time is going really fast. So you can see, yeah, it's almost 40 minutes already. Here we go. A conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this. You understand what's going on here? Has this ever happened to you? No, never in your life. Happening every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> you know, once I was working in in a in a school. Just an anecdote. I want to I wanted to share. Once I was working at school. I was teaching at Colegio Augusto Valpe. I was teaching there. I was like 20, 20, 2019, I think. And they gave me a uniform, right? I was, I was using uniform, like white polo shirt. But I bought this towel. It was green, green one, not kidding. And I remember that I, I put all the clothing in my in my in my laundry, right? Machine. And then next day that I was going to wear my uniform once again, my my polo shirt was turned into green color. And they basically didn't let anybody go to the school without, you know, the uniform because it was mandatory. So I had no choice. I had to wear, you know, the green and white shirt at that moment. It was really embarrassing. And I told them, you know, what happened. And they started laughing because you don't expect this to happen, especially if you're new hire, if you just started to work in, in such in the school. So that happens to me. Maybe it can happen to you. I don't know. Has this ever happened to you that you, uh, by mistake, put you know maybe new clothes into the uh, other clothes, and then when you start washing them on the laundry, then you know because I don't know one of them start uh, affecting the other ones because it's new, and instead of being clean, they get dirty because of this you know clothing iron specifically. So it can happen. My question is, do you understand the whole conversation here? Do you understand what's going on here? Yes. yes. Right. Awesome. In case you don't understand, my suggestion is to write down the conversation. Write down and say, start repeating and then translating if necessary. Let's do something. Well, the conversation is just, it's a disaster, right? So I need volunteers to just go ahead and, and practice. Who wants to help me? Let's see, I have, um, I need two people to practice. Claudia is one, okay, Who's, who wants to help Claudia? One more, just breathe. Claudia is ready and JC is also ready. Thank you so much. Let's see, Claudia, you start, Claudia. Go ahead. Okay. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Where's a light blue blouse? It is yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our all our clothes. Oh no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Um, they're mine. Sorry. <laughs> they're mine. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this, you know. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay, good. Good job. Let's see. 
Nice, that was a good pronunciation. I like it. Uh, where is my new blouse? I don't see it. It's because it had turned into a different color. That's why you don't see it. All right, so let's see. Um, let's uh, go over once again. I need one more participation, another uh, pair to read the conversation. This is your time to speak. It's more. Don't be afraid. Just raise your hand and practice. The more you practice, the better. Remember that. So two more volunteers. Yo. All right. Thank you so much, Carlos. One more. Yo. Israel. Carlos and Israel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Carlos, you start and Israel, you continue. Three, two, one. Go. Great. All clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's right. Here a light blue, huh? Uh, here a light blue blouse. It is yours? No, it is not mine. Why it is mine? It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here is the problem. It is new blue jeans. Was jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. I'm sorry. Oh man, I'm sorry. I missed <laughs> just imagine the scenario, you know. I don't be really, really like you feel sad. I, how can this happen? I didn't want this to happen. All right, good. Good job. Let's see. Uh, some really quick observation. If you are like really attentive, you can notice there are some words that we're going to be focusing on today. And these are the followings. Let me test to see if you pay attention when you were trying to solve the platform. Yours. Um, Yours. Let's see. Mine. And uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. This one, these are the only ones. Mine is repeated again here, and then also is repeated again here. But then, how do we name them? Do you know what is the category or what is the name of these two words, yours and mine? Which um concept or which category do you uh, associate them with? Yours and mine. What did you see on the platform? How do you name them? What is the name of these two words, yours and mine? Who knows? Let's see. Who remembers? Maybe you know, but you don't want you don't remember. Let's see. Um, if I have, just to give you an idea, I possessive. Possessive, yes, possessive. What, Carlos? Possessive. Possessive, you have 50%. percent possessive. Pronouns. Pronouns. There you go. Very good. So as you can see, we have possessive adjectives is I, my. We studied this before. But then now we have possessive pronoun. And this is mine. Oh, now we have a second category, right? It's not about, it's not about adjective. It's about pronouns. Right? So the question is, how do we use them? Who knows? Who can give me an example uh, using mine? Or how do we use them? You see the examples here? When do we use the possessive pronouns, class? Any idea? Is it kind of hard? I want to know about this one. Maybe, guys, I know JC want to participate, but maybe I can make a like quick parenthesis here, and we can start by learning them now. Let me give them to you right now. Hold on, guys. Here we have it. Let me erase all these. I'm gonna erase it. Erase this one, not anymore. And we're gonna study. Because this is this is gonna be your homework. I want you to study about them. So we have the subject. You can write this down if you have it already. Fine. Subject. We have possessive adjectives. But today we have 
learn something new and this is possessive pronouns right so let's make up let's make a brainstorm of ideas here what are the subjects anybody tell me the subjects please subjects what are the subjects that we know class I'm just trying to review. I know you know this. Come on. What people. are this? Yes? Israel? Yeah. People. People. People, yes. And then the subject pronouns are the pronouns. Only the pronouns. Just give me the pronouns. Israel. Because yeah, people are subject. But the pronouns? I. I. Good. What else? Uh, you. Awesome. Continue. Uh, he. He. Good. He. She. She. Nice. What else? They nice, very good. What else? We we okay, great. What else? It it good. Finish, right? Okay. What about possessive adjectives? My okay, good. Your your nice yours. In your study. Uh huh. What else? You. His. His. Good job. What else? Her. Here. Her. What about this one? Here. There. There. Good. There. We. Where? Our. No. Our. No. Yeah. You Our. good. Our and. It. It's. Good job. Uh, now, now, classes. This is the this is the new category that we need to focus on. What about this one? I, my, and what about the possessive pronoun? Mine. 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 Okay. York. Yours. 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 Good job. This one. His. 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 Very good. This one. Her. Which one? Her. 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 What else? Yeah. I don't hear hers. it. Hers. Very good. Hers. With that yeah. sound. And this one? Theirs. Theirs. Good. And this one? Ours. Ours. Now you got it, right? You got it. Ours. And? It uh, is the it's... same thing in the same one. Okay, guys, my uh this is not common to say it honestly, but let's let's focus on this one. Let's see. I want you to give me examples. That's that's the challenge for today's class. This is the challenge, okay? Create sentences using we have nine minutes. Let's create sentences before we move on with the next uh topics. I want to practice this by creating sentences, okay? Let me give you an example, all right? So let's see, I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna use her, okay? Let's see, I can say her, easy, right? Her name is, mm. her name is uh, Isabel, easy. Yes. Because this is like what we've been studying, right? Possessive, and Possessive. then, you know, the noun, easy. Her name is Isabel. But then how do I use hers? Hers. That is different. So who can help me? Let's try to, let's try to uh, think about how do I use hers then? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Uh, any any idea before he, I uh huh uh, hers oh mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, what comes he, to your mind Isabel 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 okay is is her name hers oh name? no I cannot say her name because no. it's the pronoun it's not uh, the 
if I say her name, yes, but then it, the idea needs to be changed. We need to we need to think about a different okay. idea. Uh, her name? Oh no, no. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay, so that's the challenge, right? Okay. We need to set the scenario, guys. We need to set the scenario so we understand. We cannot say mm -hmm. at once hers. We need to have something before we provide hers. Her, Isabel. Her, her, her name is Isabel. Huh? Oh. Isabel. <laughs> Isabel. Oh. What about if I change the idea? Isabel, Isabel's car. Or if I say, uh, let me see. To... It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Uh -huh. But then, um, I can say who, look at this one, who's, who's, and then I, who's is, who's is that nice car. Let's say, then I can say it, it's hers. hers. You see? Okay. It's different because uh, Isabel's car is nice. And then uh, and I say, who sees that nice car? It's hers. It belongs to hers. So basically, the idea changes now. We're not using mm -hmm. the pronoun in the object. We're leaving the pronoun you know, at the end because that's how it works. I can, let me give you another question because this is the point. If we pay attention to the conversation, how they use the pronoun is different. It's a different approach. It's a different approach, okay? So I still have like five minutes. I can, think, I can give another example, that's it. Or maybe easier if we analyze the one presented in the conversation. Let me, let me just illustrate you with the, with the ideas we have here. Hold on, I only have, take a look at this one. Hmm, look at this one. We have context first. Let's analyze one example because of time. Here it is one, mine. Take a look at the question. Here is a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? What is it yours? They're talking about that. Like the blue blue blows. Blows. they're talking about this one. And instead of saying the light blue blows again, they use it, which is the the object of that they're talking about. That's the object, okay. right? And then they say, "Is it yours? Yours? What? Yours?" They're referring to the to the light blue blows. No, it's hmm. not mine. Here, I cannot say this one because. I cannot say mine, mm -mm, it's not possible because if I say mine, that's a mistake because I only use mine with the Y when I'm using an object after this. So in this case, it's not okay. I must use the, the possessive pronoun because it's gonna be at the end of the sentence. Okay, so this is the homework. Tomorrow, we're going to be studying about how to differentiate objectives, the possessive uh, adjective, I'm sorry, and possessive pronoun. So that's your homework. Try to investigate how do I use possessive adjective and how do I use possessive pronouns. And you'll see there, are, there is, there is uh, one structure that we need to study. There is one formula that we're going to discuss about it tomorrow. But then if you if you have some time now that you're not working on the platform anymore because you already finished, you can try to investigate a little bit, investigate and say, okay, how do I use this one? And tomorrow we're gonna discuss about it, okay? I don't know okay. if you have if you have the idea as to what the homework is. You have the idea, you have understood the homework. Let me write yes. it on the screen. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna work on um the differences between like, this is the homework. Investigate. In.
investigate the different difference between uh, possessive possessive adjectives and possessive pronoun. But more than the difference, guys, I want you to look for sentences. Sentences. And these are examples. Tomorrow we're going to discuss about this topic. Please be on time and bring your sentences so we can understand the structure. So we can understand how it is placed because there is a there is a way how to do it. It's not just you know saying it, but also knowing what to place and where to place it. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, please study. Don't um, don't uh, let's see. Unfocus because you need to focus on what we're doing, which is learning every single day. So thank you so much for connecting. I think it's time and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 They are on.